birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sue. Happy birthday, dear Sue Blue. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I was so looking forward to seeing you this weekend, and as soon as your image comes up, I'll see you. I didn't hear that. Broke her foot in Nashville. I had a bad fall in uh, Nashville. I was in Nashville to record an actress there and fell in the elevator and broke my foot in two places and I couldn't get out of Nashville. They had to do surgery there and everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nightmare. But I'm back home and the surgeon here said that they did a really good job in Nashville. So I'm really happy about that. All right, well, you heal perfectly and get back on the good foot. Yeah, I know I can't put weight on it for like eight weeks, and I've got like 12 pins in my leg, so it's not, it's not pleasant. It's much better than a get-well card. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> wow, look at that crap. <laughs> yeah. Hey Sue! It's good to see all of you. <laughs> We're just getting rid of our bulldog. <laughs> this one can stay low, the little chihuahua. Let me show you her. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo. I wish I could be there with all of you, but as you can see. Ay, ay, ay. She's a train next year. <laughs> oh, I, I won't miss it, I promise all of you. But I feel like I'm right there in the room with all of you. You are. And of course, Greg Berger is one of my most favorite people in the whole world, and I haven't seen him in a long time, but. We did Transformers together, and then cut two years later, he was the lead in a animated show I did called Men in Black. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Agent K. Wow. Has done. You've really done most of my shows. We did Toxic Crusaders too. Woo! We did Toxic Crusaders too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we did do Toxic Crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been having fun? Did you, uh, you all got here yesterday? Yeah, 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 it's terrific. And everybody is missing you and uh, only wishing you a really rapid and speedy recovery. For oh, real, for real, for real, for real. That's just not, that's just... I, I cannot tell you how I was looking so forward to this. I told Colin that I, you know, printed up some pictures with RC and I was so excited to, you know, <coughs> I, I don't, I, I don't do signatures very well, but I was so excited to see all of you and be a part of it and what a bummer. But like Colin said, I'll be there next year. Yeah, sure. nice. Look, this is this is the crossover point where the virtual world becomes the real world. You're in the room, we're in the room. Uh, let's just proceed. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, here, exactly. here here we am. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? So, if you're ready for questions, come on up. You know, I don't understand why. I would think that even in the live action, that the voices, you know, for me, the voices in the live action are so. You know, they're just all so one note. I don't know why they didn't come back and use all of us. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> I guess, which is wonderful, they used Peter Cullen for Optimus. Woo! You know of any other actors that were used that came from our generation? Well, no, it was Frank, 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 Frank Welker uh, is Galvatron <laughs> in Age of Extinction, right. which is fantastic. Right. Charles Adler with them too? 
you know, the, you know the film role in G1 and he played Starscream in the movies? Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would I would be flattered beyond beyond flattered to be involved, um, of course. Um, I you know. should be, Greg. You're, you're an amazing talent. Thank you. <laughs> you both um, you both have been such an influence in my childhood. I loved Ninja Turtles when I was little. I I think that's why I wanted to become an, an, uh, an artist. And I just graduated with an art degree, and I you know dinosaurs. Awesome. Um, Grimlock's awesome. Um, Me title what leader? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, while I uh, while I watched D1 before, um, I, I grew up with Beast Wars, and Beast Wars is my stuff. And I just spent like too much in the dealer room on some Beast Wars figures. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm gonna just one, just one quick question for Greg. Cause he's probably got it before. Uh, I kind of like both characteriz characterizations of Grimlock in the cartoon. He kind of seems like he changes a little bit over time. He's kind of this goofball, like clumsy dinosaur after the movie, and then you know he's this big, big, strong, um, um, defiant um, uh, leader of the Dinobots earlier in the series. What is what's your favorite one to play? Well, you, that, it's, it's an actor question, and whatever you're given on the first day of, well, actually sometimes the first day is the record day, um, but whatever you're handed, it, you're, it's your obligation to get from page one to, to the end of the script. So uh, I figure that our task is to bring the truth to whatever you're handed. So um, obviously there was a different arc in the character throughout the run of the animated series, but again, I mean, for me, as as much as I was tasked with bringing the truth to whatever I was asked to do, episode to episode and, and uh, season to season, uh, when I came back for Fall of Cybertron, the real meat for me was finding that darker, more cinematic, uh, more obstacled Grimlock who had a different route that he had to go through to to uh, find uh, shockwave sort of sort of created the route to his obstacles as far as thought processes that was really interesting for me to have to repurpose myself to, to get there but that was like way down the line as far as as far as that whole Grimlock's new brain arc as far as <laughs> Some of the other things earlier on, yeah, he had a he had big muscles and a small brain, and um, there were there were some things that we had lots of fun with. There were some things that made him, you know, ready, fire, aim, uh, that that are like built in have fun, uh, but they also make him aggressive first, which makes him a really good soldier and not right for leadership like Prime. Uh, that's really interesting for an actor to, you know, have on his plate. That's really good stuff to chew on. But it also makes it fun for an audience because he, he, he sees himself as ready to lead, but, but there's a better leader, you know. It's all great stuff. It's just fun to chew scenery. Um, but what an audience perceives as funny or not funny or the different things that people like to talk about, that's not what you're dealing with when you're the actor that's handed the stuff. All you're tasked with is telling the truth through the eyes of the character. It's, it's the audience that decides what's funny or not. That's nothing that you play when you are the person who's taking on the part, if that makes sense. <laughs> Question for Grimlock. They say you're the king. What exactly are you king of? Me Dinobot leader, me, me no bones, no me king! <laughs> and a question for RC? Yes. You're friends with Daniel, right? Yes. Does he have issues? There's a kind of issues. I really don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs>
really quick Transformers uh, trivia. Uh, Megatron and Grimlock are Garfield and Odie. When we lost Lorenzo <laughs> Music, uh, Frank took over as the voice of Garfield. So, uh, yeah. and I've been Odie since the first animated Odie. They, because they can't give you dialogue. And, and Garfield is a buddy comedy, just like Hope and Crosby or Abbott and Costello. It's just one of the two buddies has bark slurps, growls, and, and uh, bone chomping. So uh, they, write, they write a full paragraph and just record what he's doing rather than what he's saying. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just to add to that, also, there's a little show that I uh, directed called Curious George, yeah. and Frankie was Curious George, and so much of it is co is communicating whoo, 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 ah, ah, monkey sounds into emotion, and you know, of course, he's one of the best at that. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Happy birthday, Sue. Who is hotter? Hot Rod or Springer? Come on. <laughs> Who is hotter? Hot Rod or Springer? I don't know. I was in love with Springer. <laughs> That's not what you said in 86. <laughs> no, you better stay close to me. Hot Rod's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>